Hello and welcome back to Terry's Lifestyle and Vlog. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the requirements for a spouse visa in the UK. But before I go on, if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like videos like this, then please subscribe, turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward. I'm actually doing a series on the different UK visa routes and in my last video, I talked about the requirements for a visitor's or a tourist visa. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the requirements for a spouse visa, okay? And to qualify for this kind of visa, the partner must be a British or an Irish citizen or they must have a settled status or a pre-settled status if they are from the EU or have a humanitarian settlement or humanitarian protection in the UK. But before I go on, I would like to state that this is not professional advice, but for information purpose only. If you like professional advice on how to apply for your visa, then please seek professional help, speak to a solicitor, and they will be in the best place to help you. And just like any other visa application, there are certain requirements that you need to meet if you want to apply for this visa. Okay, the first one, which is really important, which you would require for any kind of visa at all, is a valid passport so yes you need a valid passport a passport that is valid for at least six months with a blank page on so a blank page where your your visa will be stamped on so you need that to apply for your visa okay the second thing that you need is to fill in the application form and like i said in my previous video on the when i talked about the requirements for a tourist visa so the application form is where you would fill in your personal details, why you're traveling to the UK, your travel history, your family his some of, some of your family history and things like that. So your personal details will be on the form and all of that. Okay, so you need a, a form. Another thing you need, which is really important, is proof of your relationship. Okay, at least for the past two years. Okay, so you want to show proof of your relationship to that person. So if you're married to the person, you want to show proof. If you are in a relationship and you haven't a bit and you're not married yet, then you also need to show proof of your relationship and to show that you actually want to get married once you come to the UK. It proof of relationship, proof of civil partnership, or proof of marriage that is recognized in the UK. So that's really, really important. Otherwise, the application would not be granted. Okay, so some of the things that you might require will be if you're married to the person, maybe your, your marriage certificate, your pictures of your wedding, or maybe pictures that you've both taken together, so communication between the two of you, pictures that you might have taken somewhere else, or so pictures of the two of you together with friends or families. So you need that to prove that you are actually in a relationship or that you are married to that person. Okay, another thing that will be required is a proof of your financial means. And this is also very important. For the person living in the UK, they need to show that they are earning at least £18,600 annually for them to be able to support you as a spouse coming to live in the UK. And some of the things that will be required will be your bank statements, your pay slips for at least six months and to show to the home office that yes, they earn that amount or more. So it's really important. So another thing that's important if you're coming to the UK is a proof of English language test, okay? So some countries do not require proof of English language test, but some countries do. So you need to check on the gov.uk website to make sure that you know exactly whether you need proof of English language test or not. Also require proof of a negative tuberculosis test. Okay, so this is required if you're going to be living in the UK for more than six months. Once you've done your application, you'll be invited to go for your biometrics. And once you've done your biometrics, then you would need to wait for at least 12 weeks for your application to be processed. Okay, so yes, it could be process your application could be reviewed or processed less than 12 weeks or at least at most 12 weeks however sometimes it could last longer if the home office requires more documentation or more information from you then you would your application might might take longer than the 12 weeks that have been stated the visa has been approved you get a visa for two years and nine months after that you need to apply again before you can get your settlement in the uk so those are just a few tips from me i hope these tips have been helpful if they have give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and family and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next